Hello class, if you know you have not registered for your final exam, leave this class. Vivian, have you registered? No, sir. So, what are you waiting for? You should be the first to register, I mean, your father has money, and, you are the best in this class. Now, go home and tell your father what I just said, he should come and register for you, we don't have time again. Okay sir. I don't know why my father is frustrating me like this, he has the money, is not that, he does not, have money. Yet he refused to register my final exam for me, I find it difficult to pay my school fees, oh, God help me. Just because, I'm going to Pentecostal church. I'm tired of that man. Wow. Vivian why are you here? You should be in school. They send me home, because, I have not registered for my final exam. Oh. I forgot. Go in and change your cloth. I don't have money. But daddy you and I know you have the money, why have you refused to register for me? I said I don't have money, go and find work. Nonsense. As long as you continue, going to that church you call Pentecostal church no money for you. My church, or no church. What kind of father is this? God help me. Where are you going? I'm going to church. You are going nowhere. Get inside now. And make sure my food is ready before 6 p.m. But, father, I have already prepared your food. I said get inside. Father, allow me to worship where I feel like worshiping. I am grown up, am not a baby, I know what is good for me. Let me go to church and worship my maker. Don't allow me to handle you. Get inside now. Stirborn girl. Nonsense. <laughs> Why is my father treating me this way? Is it by force to go to his church? I read my Bible, I know what is good for me. But he will not allow me to make my own choice. By the way he will not be the one to answer for me on the judgment day. So I must do what my Bible say, I must follow my heart. I must follow, the book of Leviticus 26 verse 1, and, Act 4 verse 12. Vivian, I'm going out, make sure you did not go anywhere. Okay, sir. Good. Thank God he is out, I'm going to church. Madam, how far? Fine, sir. It have been long. You no longer visit us. Don't worry, sir. I will come tomorrow. Okay, I will be expecting you tomorrow. No problem, sir. Is that not my daughter? So she disobey me. Vivian, come here. Madam, see you tomorrow. I hope no problem. No problem. Where are you going to? I'm going to church. Which church? My church. So you disobey me. What did I tell you about that church? <laughs> if I ever see you in that church again, you will leave my house. Now go home. <laughs> Nonsense. What? They are teaching you there is disobedient. You no longer respect your father. I don't want to see you near that church again. I don't want to first you reach house. I must worship my God. I don't care what my father will do to me, I'm going to church. Stupid girl let me first you and reach house today. Children of nowadays, they don't have respect. Very disobedient. Nonsense. Where is that girl? So she did not come back. Let me check well. Because I will deal with her today. So she is not here. Okay, we shall see. I will know today if I'm the one that gave birth to her.
Good evening, sir. Where are you coming from? From church. I say, where are you coming from? From church. So you disobey me after all my warning. Since you are grow up, leave my house. What did I do to you leave me alone? I said leave my house. Leave me alone. Get out of my house. I'm not going anywhere. I did not do anything. Okay, no problem. We shall see. Come and take your school fees. Stupid girl. Nonsense. Why are you persecuting me? Who are you? Leave my daughter alone. Who are you? Next to you. Jesus. Do you know him? If you know him, then keep his saying and follow his footstep. What is this? Is this revelation or what? God, please forgive me. I don't know what I did to my father. My dear, please forgive me. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm sorry for all I did to you. Okay, Daddy. I am okay. I forgive you. Thank you, my dear. <laughs>